It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. Hold on tight. We're in for an exciting one. And it kicks off next on Madden NFL 25. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis on hand. Kickoff just moments away. Charles, quickly, keys to the game. For me, it's coaching. Who prepared his team the best going into this one to give them the confidence to believe that they would win the game? That's who's going to come out of this one on top. Here's the former Auburn kicker, Daniel Carlson, to get this one started. And off we go from M&T Bank Stadium. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. So here's the first drive for the Ravens. And at the helm is the 2023 NFL Most Valuable Player. Second such time he's won the award, Lamar Jackson. And he's coming off a season where he showed everyone that he was worth every single penny he was given. He now has two MVP trophies on his resume and was on the verge of adding a Lamar Hunt trophy to go with it. Unfortunately, things didn't work out in his favor, but make no mistake about it. He's truly one of the most electrifying players in the NFL. As long as he's the man under center, they'll always be in championship conversation. Right to the air is Jackson. Finding the former Raider, Nelson Aguilar. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. And his play caller does a nice job of giving him an easy throw to start this drive, and he takes advantage of it. The completion sets up a manageable second down. Second and a couple. Jackson, option right. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk-reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. In motion, Aguilar. Completes it to Aguilar. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. That's good for a first down, his second catch of the opening drive. If you're these receivers, you got to be ready because when he's going to throw it quick on that RPO, he's going to throw it quick. And this is why you spend time with your guy either in the offseason, during the week, the whole bundle. Because sometimes it's just telepathy. You both see the same thing, and he knows get the ball to him right away. They'll bring the tight end in motion right here. Jackson now. A short one there, caught by Likely. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 17 yards on the catch and run. It's a first down. I like how they worked the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space... He's not even going to catch the football. He's going to run away from you a little bit, and that's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. That early game script that they drew up is working pretty well here on this first drive. Already in field goal range, Charles knocking on the door of the red zone. You know, Brandon, when we met with the coaching staff, they kind of predicted that they would come out firing like this. I think you and I were a little skeptical that it'd be this easy, but they certainly knew what they were doing in scouting, in preparation, and understanding what their team was capable of. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. They had their backs up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. 
Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Now a second and ten. Able to locate Andrews here on the out route. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. That's probably as simple of a throw as he'll have all game. And good for everyone. Good for his completion percentage. Good for the receptions for the receivers. But you know how they work on that. They have footballs with no laces. So that as soon as you get the snap, you're just throwing the football. All right? You're not trying to find the laces and grip it a certain way. That takes time. Just get the ball and throw it. So that's how they practice it all the time now, too. And the Ravens are going to have first and goal coming up as they're able to convert there on third and two. A stop there on third. They could have held them to three on this opening drive. Now they have to bow their necks on first and goal. And if I'm looking at this from the offense's point of view, that's a big-time pickup right there. And I'd go right at them with another momentum play. I'd go quickly and attack them because right now they probably have their heads down a little bit since they didn't stop them on third down. That's a good hard running there as he'll push his way forward for about five. Hat tip to that offensive line. They're clearing some holes even down here deep in the red zone. And that's a nice pickup on the ground on first and goal. Second and goal from inside the five. And he's maybe going to get this back to the four, but that's about all. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a third down. Driven it down the field nicely here on the opening drive, but now it's put up or shut up. No doubt about it, because to make that type of a drive and ultimately kick a field goal would feel very disappointing. But I'm just wondering, is the head coach thinking, is this four down territory? Might he go for it? And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. Lamar Jackson hooking up with Mark Andrews. And the Ravens are on the board first here this afternoon. Let's make no bones about it. On paper, they're the better team. They're at home. That's a strong opening drive. And just think how many times we've seen this type of a matchup. Just what you said. Better team at home should steamroll them. And we've seen it go the other way. Sometimes, though, they buy into it and understand we are the better team. Let's go out and prove it right now. Tucker with the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And he won't quite make it to the 25. So out come the Raiders for their opening drive and at the helm in his first year in silver and black. Sixth season overall, Gardner Minshew. And he's someone who brings a ton of personality with him, but don't let that fool you. He's more than capable of playing winning football at this level and has actually done so. I don't know if he's their long-term answer under center, but as long as he trots out there, they'll have a puncher's chance and maybe a bit more to compete with any team they line up against. First carry for the Boise State Bronco, Alexander Madison. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. Ten yards there to start the drive and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? Back to the ground on first down. Here's Madison. And he'll fight forward maybe to the line of scrimmage, but that's all. Stop by the safety, Kyle Hamilton. Defensively, though, they had a chance there to hit him for a loss. Couldn't get it done. Looked like someone was able to knife into the backfield, but he wasn't able to get him down. But his compatriots, they were able to grab him at the line of scrimmage and not let him get any further downfield. Another carry now for Madison. And he'll get about two there to the 36. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. 
I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Here now a third down and eight. They'll go play action here with Minshew. And he goes down. The Ravens able to get to him. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Chalk that one up to bad acting, I guess, because they certainly failed to sell the handoff, and the pressure stayed keyed in on the quarterback. No Oscar awards for this offense, just a loss of yardage. On fourth down, A.J. Cole comes on to punt. Deontay Hardy back deep. This is taken at the 15. Well, that'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And the Ravens, they'll take over. Baltimore's set to take over here for their second possession of the game. They've got the 7-0 lead. Now they've got the football back after their defense got the stop, CD. And you get the feeling if they could score here, they'd really have all the momentum on their side. And you just wonder right now, is the quarterback and the play caller totally in sync? Are they of one mind that, hey, what worked last time? Let's keep doing it until they stop us. Or do they go to a different section in the playbook, show them something different? Either way, they want a repeat of their first drive. Now Jackson. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. On second down, here's a keeper by the QB. And he'll be upended here after a pickup of three, getting it out to the 25. And now we're going to get a stoppage as, yeah, that looks like Jackson who's shaken up. But the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. Now third down and seven. Back to throw. Johnson. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. And that is how you respond after taking one on the chin to begin this game. Give up a first drive touchdown, go back out on defense, and completely shut them down to force a three and out. Fourth down, and out comes Jordan Stout here to punt. And here's a fair catch taken at about the 24-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And it'll be Raiders football first and 10. They'll start on the ground with Madison. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. That is incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. Off play action, it's Minshew. Pressure too much. Down he goes. 
Justin Matabike working his way to the quarterback that time. And Matabike was a madman for the Ravens a season ago. He more than doubled his sack output from the previous year and was selected to the Pro Bowl for the first time in his career. Here's A.J. Cole now to punt this one away. A big kick, 50 yards that time with a return of four. And they will take over first and 10. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. In motion left, Bateman. Now a play fake here on first down. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. He'll get 10 there all on his own, but it'll be second down. And that's an early scramble that can be viewed positively by either side. From the offensive point of view, it begins to establish him as a possibility to keep it on certain plays. And defensively, they avoided giving up a huge play in one of their first tests in containing a quarterback on the run. Operating from the gun, Johnson. Opted to run for it. The decision a good one, picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. Facing second and short, that gives you a chance to go for a bigger play through the air. But I think he said to himself, why don't I just handle this one? Got all the yards you needed and then some and made that snap a huge success. To the right side, into the hands of Flowers. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. With these run pass options, we often talk about a good quarterback and running back. Well, having a talented wide receiver helps also. Yeah, even coming in third in the discussion, sometimes that means he really should be first because all you want to do is get the ball in their hands and let them make the big plays downfield. Here's Johnson. Off play action. Complete to Likely. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 47. Call that a loss of a yard, and things get a little more difficult here. Third and five. It looked like the defense, they were ready for that one. Really left him almost no room to work after catching the ball. He could throw every move in the book at him. They were there, and they tackle him for a loss. Now Johnson from the gun on third down. And they're going to get him. He's taken down for a sack back at the 47-yard line. Max Crosby blowing up the play and getting the sack. I think you saw the same thing that I did there, partner. Remember, he's their backup quarterback, so the last thing they need is to lose another one right here on the sack. Looks like he's going to be okay, though. Yeah, he looked like he was favoring something in the left leg. Appears to be fine now, but you're right. That O-line, they got to protect him. Here's Jordan Stout now. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And this is going to be ruled out, I think, just inside the 20. Yes, it will. Side judge calls it at the 19-yard line. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. Going to begin the drive here with Madison. Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. Nice run defense presented there. And what I mean by that is discipline. The guys filling the right gaps in the right holes. No one over pursuing and making a very nice play. Second and nine now from the 21. Now Minshew. Looking deep for Adams. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. What I loved about meeting with these coaches before the game is we didn't even have to ask any questions. They told us that they were going to be aggressive and push the ball downfield. They weren't successful on that play, but look for them to try it again later. Yeah. 
Here's Minshew. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. He's to the 15, and he will score. Touchdown, Las Vegas. Jacoby Myers, 79 yards. And the Raiders are an extra point away from evening this one up. As a fan, is there anything prettier than a well-executed post route? No, it's a thing of beauty, especially when it's done like that for a touchdown. Uh, the throw, the catch, and how about the run after to get it to the end zone? Now for the extra point, Daniel Carlson. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. So the drive there, they went 80 yards in three plays. And it was all capped off by Jacoby Myers on the touchdown reception. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Baltimore about ready to go on offense. The last series for them, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and ten. The tight end in motion right. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. He can't get him down. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive. First down. Oftentimes, broken tackles are his specialties. And <laughs> put another one on his tally there. Yeah, no doubt about it. One-on-one, -on -one, not likely to get him down. You need everyone else to get there and help you. I think they were signaling for you and I to jump on the pile and try and get him down, weren't they? You don't want me out there, I promise you. Throw caught by Flowers. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. 12 yards to pick up there. Good for a Raven first. Flowers does a really good job there picking up a new set of downs. And he continues to build off his impressive rookie campaign. I saw him record over 850 yards on the year. His competitiveness allows him to make a lot of what we call combat catches, taking balls away from defenders. How about this? They'll try the option. Left side. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain there as he kept it himself at second down. Well, for that being an option play, there really weren't too many options available for him, were there? No, there weren't, and at least he was able to get back to the line of scrimmage, so he didn't lose anything, but you're exactly right. Nowhere to go. They'll bring one of the tight ends in motion right here. Now he'll look to throw here on second and ten. This one caught by his tight end, Andrews. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 33. 12 yards to pick up there. Good for a Raven first. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know. They want to get this man involved as well, and that's what they just did on that play. They'll look to throw now on first down. A short one there, caught by Likely. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away, and that'll make it second down. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. So they'll wind up losing five yards on the play, and they'll be facing a third and 12. Well, that wasn't exactly a thing of beauty. I know they completed the pass, but look at the yardage lost. I mean, 
who does that make happy? That's why I don't play in PPR points per reception fantasy <laughs> leagues right there. You'd be really you don't deserve upset, anything right? for that. But you get credit for it? Is yeah. that how that works? Yeah. Well, I know whoever has this team's defense, they were happy about that play. There is no denying they want to get him involved. That's already the fifth time that they've looked his way in this first quarter. So that tells me defensively that they want to insist on going in that direction. Make sure you've got your best people in the area to try and take that away. Tucker's kick is good. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. Tucker now following the made field goal set to kick it away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26 yard line. Here's Las Vegas ready to take the field. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. So just three yards on the completion there, and it's second down. I think defensively, you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter... Can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Give them 12 yards that time and a Las Vegas first. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. And I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. Here's Madison running on first down. And he'll get what he can up the middle. Three yards. That'll bring up second down. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. Ball spotted at the 45. Here's second down and seven. Going to run with Madison again. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. A one-yard gain there following the three-yard pickup on first down. 10-7 our score after one right here on EA Sports. The Raiders with the football here to begin quarter number two as they've got it with a third down coming up. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Minshew sets to throw. A throw out wide going to be incomplete. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. Here's A.J. Cole now as he's on to punt for Las Vegas. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. The Ravens offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yeah, Run what you do best. On the gas. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. That one into the hands of Flowers. 
And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. As long as you go through your proper reads and progressions, the drag route can be one of those old reliable plays because usually it's good for a good chunk of yardage as we just saw there. And those guys like it, right? They can get the ball with a full head of steam. Especially against man coverage because man coverage, they're typically running away from someone and not worried about traffic coming out on the other end. Henry up the middle. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. 45 yards rushing for him now, and he's carried the ball just five times. That run sure looked familiar, and another first down picked up for Baltimore. And after a Hall of Fame caliber run in Tennessee, King Henry has made the move to Baltimore, and he's hoping he can be the missing piece that finally gets the Ravens over the hump. A solid run by Derrick Henry, and here's another first and 10. Looking to throw. Johnson. They set up the screen for Henry. Seven yards there on the first down screen play. Good call there on first down. And Brandon, I'm getting better over the years and not screaming out screen, screen, screen with my defensive training. They want to keep those pass rushers honest. And they did so there and they wind up picking up positive yardage. Now second and three. Back to throw. Johnson. He's got Derrick Henry again. Back to back catches. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Second and 10. They'll look to throw again. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Andrews. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And the Ravens are going to be set up with a first and goal as they get the conversion there on third and inches. And in a lot of ways, that catch is expected. Red zone presence, and that one was realized there. You've got to find your tight end in that situation. Henry. Diving for the end zone, and he is in. Touchdown. You think back to some of the great goal line bruisers of the past, the Earl Campbells, the John Riggins, the Marshawn Lynches. I think you can put Derrick Henry right in that group as he scores there with another patented Derrick Henry run. Tucker now to add the point after. It's good to make it 17-7. So that drive goes eight plays. And Derrick Henry able to finish it off with a touchdown run. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. They find themselves down 17 to 7 as they start this drive first and 10.
They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he was able to shed one tackle but could not get away from there. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Looking to throw it. Minshew. Eight yards that time. Able to take off, and the result is a first down. Well, here's your first example of how this guy can beat you in more ways than one because they took away his arm, but he was more than happy to dissect them with his legs for that first down pickup. From the gun, Minshew to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Here's second and ten. They'll go Madison up the middle. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. Well, it's almost football 101 that you preach to your safeties. Don't let anyone get behind you. You're the last line of defense. But he didn't let the play come to him. He went to the play. How about that read and recognition and finishing off that one behind the line of scrimmage? Now they go screen. It's complete. Breaks the tackle. He's got room to run. And he's going to be stopped here at the 43, and that is not near enough to pick up the first. That'll bring up fourth down. They wind up getting eight yards, but they needed more than that. And that's a play that's not uncommon on third and long because the offense is just hoping that somehow they can get a guy in space and follow some blockers downfield. Does a pretty nice job there getting a few yards, but he ends up getting stopped before he can get the first down. And he couldn't get it to check up. That kicks all the way into the end zone for a touchback. And we spotlight Derrick Henry now. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter. Been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, you've really done some damage in an NFL game. And now he's looking just to add to his totals. They begin with Henry. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. With his size, it often takes more than one guy to get him down. But if you can at least slow him up and the reinforcements arrive, you have a chance to get him on the ground. And that they did that time for a loss. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Looking to throw. Johnson. A short throw caught by Andrews. And they work this well upfield across the 45. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Back to throw now on first down. That's into the hands of Flowers over the middle. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. That's back-to-back -back plays of over 20 yards. What an intelligent play as he found open grass and uncovered quickly. A nice clutch play to move the chains. The defense, they've got to do a much better job of accounting for these shorter routes. In motion, Aguilar. On first down, he'll drop to throw. That's caught. It's Flowers. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. A very solid gain of 27. Just picking up yardage and bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field, and just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal.
They'll try and run for it with Henry. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. Definitely an important sequence here for this defense. They've had their share of struggles in this first half. They just cannot afford to give up another touchdown here. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Henry again. And he will take it in for a Ravens touchdown. Derrick Henry with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Ravens are able to stretch out their lead. And always a good first half when you can hit pay dirt twice. And it never hurts to have that good feeling as the game moves on. Just think about halftime. If, it, if this is all he gets, he'll just sit there at the half and think, all right, two already. I can get some more. I can get some more. And he'll be encouraging his offensive line to create some space. Now Tucker to add the PAT. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. That time, a six-play drive. And Derrick Henry able to finish it off with a touchdown run. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Las Vegas' offense back out there, ready to go. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled-out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he powers his way up past the 30. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync. And the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards. From the 31, Minshew. This goes out wide for Madison. So he stopped for no gain. And it brings up third and five now. That's a nice job defensively to make sure everyone was accounted for because ordinarily you pick up the guys downfield and sometimes you forget about the running back. In this case, they did not and dropped him for no gain. Out of the gun is Minshew. And he will not be able to hang on to the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. This is certainly a team that has proven it likes to target its backs through the air and defensively. They were aware of that and certainly were prepared on that throw. Here's A.J. Cole now as he's on for the fifth time here today. Here's Hardy set to return. So not just running into the punter, but roughing the punter. And I'm struggling with this one. You know, you're watching it, partner. Is it more the first rather than the latter? This is a tough one. Almost feels like he felt like he had to call it on that play. Lack of discipline defensively on fourth down, and now that leads to a first and ten. He'll drop to throw. Over the middle complete. That's Myers. 
His second catch, this one not quite as dynamic as his first, and it's second down. And I think he just wanted to get the ball to one of his playmakers to see if they could make something happen, but he ends up throwing into a crowded area, and after the catch, he isn't able to do much with it. Second down and four. Running from the shotgun with Madison. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. And that's some good tackling there to keep him short of that yellow line. Yeah, defensively, all I'm thinking is that on that play, get me to third down. Get me into a position where I can make one more play and get my defense off the field. The Raiders on third down. They've had their troubles. Just one for six. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. And this pass broken up. Now the contact well timed there, and now fourth down. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yes, yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. On fourth down, Minshew. It's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Raiders try it on fourth down, but to no avail. And the Ravens are going to get the football back. Well, it was too far for a field goal try. You don't really gain a whole lot out of a punt, so I don't think you have much of a problem with that, do you? No, not at all. I think it's the right play, the exact right play, because even if you want to play defense and pin them deep, you know how hard it is for a punter to, to knock one dead inside the 10-yard line. That's not, uh, uh, that's not necessarily easily done. So I think going for it there was the right call. Baltimore with good starting field position as they come up first and 10 at the 45. Throwing to start the drive. Johnson, that's complete. It's Rashad Bateman. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Now a second and two. Back to throw. Johnson. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. As he came to the line of scrimmage, he knew he didn't need much to reset the chain, so when he saw the space he needed... No hesitation. He went to the marker and got his guys a first down. They'll look to throw here on first down. And his throw is incomplete. Nelson Aguilar, the intended receiver. But it's going to be second down. Tenth carry now for Derrick Henry. And he's going to be close to a first down as he gets this to the Raiders 28. 60 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here in this first half. And after that type of a run, there's some talking going on down on the field, but it's not trash talking. The guy who just carried the ball, he's going back and telling his offensive line, great job, keep it up, and we'll break that one soon. And he gets the first down here as he's taken down at the 24. A gain of four that time as the drive continues. I do know that owners, when they watch their quarterbacks running with the football, they usually hold their breath because that's the franchise. But when you're getting that kind of a gain, hard to argue against calling it. And right side, they're going to go option here. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. It'll be a pickup of five on the keeper. It's second down. Oh, man, that wasn't far from breaking in a big way into the secondary. Read option, quarterback kept it. And while he didn't get a first down, he did get a nice chunk of yardage. Only a nice tackle prevented it from maybe going all the way. Flowers going to go in motion right. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. He dumps it off for Henry. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. That one, a first down pickup of eight. 
Well, they certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball possibly in the open field. And I think in the second half, that may loosen up the defense a little bit to get the running game going back inside. A first down carry for Henry. And he stopped immediately there. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. They'll bring a tight end in motion right. To the right side, into the hands of Flowers. The Raiders call on a nickel set here for third down. Looking to throw. Johnson. And he will throw this one out of the back of the end zone. It's incomplete. Smart move to throw that one away. You're in field goal range, so you definitely don't want to be loose with the ball. And that's great work by this defense to force a fourth down. So Jackson will head to the Ravens' sideline, and on comes Justin Tucker for the field goal try. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. Tucker's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So this lead, Charles, is continuing to swell here in the first half. Well, it's interesting. When we talked to them prior to the game, they told us that their game plan was take no prisoners, and they've lived up to it so far because everything has worked. No guarantee that'll continue, but all in all, this coaching staff's got to be very pleased by what they've seen. Tucker now following the made field goal set to kick it away. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. It's still fighting. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. The Raiders heading out to take over. And a drive that stalled out last time. Went for it on fourth, didn't get it. How does that translate here? I would imagine momentum's with the defense. Definitely with the defense, because anytime anyone goes for it on fourth down, that's telling you as a defense that they, you can't stop us. We don't think that you can. And when you actually do, that may put a little dent in the confidence of the offense the next time they hit the field. Yeah, we'll see if they can bring that pride to the offense this go around. Short throw caught by Bowers. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync stayed in great communication and as he dragged across each zone you see him pointing communicating there he is and they passed him off to each defender ended up making a nice play even though it was complete six yards the pick up and that's a first down it's been a very one-sided game so far they got to change what they're doing right now don't they you can't wait till the halftime speech to make an adjustment no you can't because if you're doing it right you're adjusting from series to series, and they need a big adjustment here to try and put some points on the board. That's caught by Tucker, and he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. That one good for 13 and a Raider first down. Now that's the kind of big play you'd like to see. This first half, it hasn't gone their way, and they could use a shot in the arm, something to perk them up a bit, and they get one here in the passing game. It'll be Minshew again. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. From the 37, they work on second and six. Here's Minshew. Looking for his running back, and he's got him. 
Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. They need two. Here's third down. Now Minshew. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Raiders first down as they convert on third and three with a nice gain of seven yards. But with the score where it is, you're not thinking field goals right now. You need touchdowns. So that was a much-needed conversion there on third down. Again, he'll drop to throw. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. Now here's a timeout as they're going to get it with eight seconds remaining here in the first half. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. This is a 40-yard attempt from the left hash. Carlson able to put this one through, and that will move the deficit from 20 down to 17. So a late three there, and that'll help as they head into the break. Talk about situational football and something they've worked on since the OTAs and mini camps the previous summer. They take care of the ball, get three points, knowing they're going to get the ball to start the second half. That's the old two-for-one special to finish things off. So time enough for a kickoff here. Five seconds remaining in this first half. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. Found a little room there as he's up to about the 37. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. It was Derrick Henry, as he normally does, making his impact felt in that first half. He had a nose for the end zone as he wound up with two touchdowns on the ground in those first two quarters. Okay, Coach, thanks as always to you and the gang in Orlando as we welcome everyone back in for quarter number three. The Raiders are going to have it first, and they trail here as we get back to it in this third quarter of action. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. The Raiders' offense and their running back getting set to go once more. And you look at his numbers as a pass catcher in this one. They've lined him up in different spots, shifted him around, and made him a real weapon in the passing game. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And you have to think, Charles, down three scores already. They need to play an almost perfect second half to have a solid chance. And that absolutely starts with finding some way to put together a touchdown drive here. They need to be smart, fast, efficient, get the ball into the end zone, and do it again multiple times in order to have a chance to win this game. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football. And right now, I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do where they are in this game they've got to push the ball downfield take their shots try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time that was a nice play there they'll look to throw here 
over the middle. He's got Myers. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Two yards to go, second down. Minshew sets to throw. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. They'll get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. The defense did its job of taking away a quick throw, but that's only half the battle because... They've got to get to him before he can make a run for it. A little bit late containing him there, so he makes a nice gain out of a play that looked like it was in trouble. Here's a give to Madison running right. And he struggles to get a yard here, maybe a yard, down to the 31. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Here's Madison getting it again on second. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. 56 yards rushing for him in the ball game now on 14 carries. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. They'll look to throw now on first down. That's to Mayer, the tight end. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and that will bring up second down. This drive, it's been a good mix. Three passing plays, three runs, hitting on all three of those passes, and the last one putting him in the red zone. So wouldn't you think play action right here? Because you've got the ability and had the ability to run it and throw it. Go play action and take your shot at the end zone. Did he get the feet down? Yes. Touchdown. Brock Bowers from 17 yards out. And the Raiders are able to cut into this lead as they score on the opening drive of the second half. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard and you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. Carlson on for the PAT. And the lead is trimmed down to 10. So that drives seven plays in length. And it ends with a Las Vegas touchdown. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Ravens offense and receiver Zay Flowers set to take over once more. And he was pretty much unguardable in that first half. You see the numbers there as they try to add to him here in this third quarter. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And they were terrific in the first half, built up a sizable lead, and it's just been cut into a bit following the opening drive score on the other side. But this is a unit that has to be itching to get the football again. You can say that again. They've got to be pretty eager because, let's face it, they've had to sit through halftime, then sit on the sidelines and watch that drive. So you can bet that they're saying, let's get on with this. we got to go out there and get some more points. Here's second and 10 now from the 29. Henry out of the pistol. And he tries to power forward, but he will not get back to the line of scrimmage. 
It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. I'm getting a sense that the momentum of this game is changing since the break. Nice play there, and this D is fired up. Yeah, the Raiders call on a nickel set for third down. Here's Jackson. Oh, this will be incomplete. The rush gets home just as he was letting that go. That could have been worse. Instead, it's fourth down. Partner, the way this offense has marched up and down the field during this game, it's almost a surprise to see an incomplete pass on third down, isn't it? Yeah, they have had their foot on the gas all game long, but here finally stalling out. And here's a very low line drive, almost whiffed on it. And no return on this one as that kicks out of bounds, so they'll start just outside of their own 30-yard line. Now here again comes Gardner Minshew. And he had the touchdown on the last drive, also four for four. Very, very effective. What does he need to do to translate that forward into this drive? Not think that what he saw in coverage his last time is exactly what he's going to get again. He's got to play ahead and start, and start thinking to himself, okay, we just did that. What are they going to take away now? What do we go to as a counter and continue to encourage his offensive line to continue to give him time? They were really good on the last drive. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. He'll look to throw. He'll get the tight end Bowers involved there. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender, but the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Oh, they go with a tight end carry. He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. He lost two, and it brings up fourth. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time, because let's face it, you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. Here's A.J. Cole now as he's on to punt for Vegas. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. Now the Baltimore offense heading back out onto the field. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches... Don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to get. And looking for Andrews, but this is intercepted. And he is going to bring this back inside the 20 to the 18-yard line. And they'll take possession already in the red zone and in a great spot to add points to the scoreboard. And Brandon, how many times have we seen a defense with a lot of field behind them get even more aggressive, right? They feel like they've got them not pinned down, but in a favorable spot for them. And they took advantage of it there, got a nice interception, and set up their offense in great shape. Here's Las Vegas ready to take the field. Following the interception, they're set up nicely here, already inside the red zone, knocking on the door, if you will, first and ten. First and ten, and they've got three tight ends out there, a jumbo package look. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Michael Pierce, in all of his 340-pound glory, gets the sack. It's interesting, partner, that most defenses try and guard the 35-yard line actively because they think the way kickers are nowadays, about a 52-yard field goal, they're kind of giving up points. But you get even deeper into territory, you get into the red zone, they're going to guard it even more, which means more pressure, more blitzing. Throwing on second and long. 
Minshew. And that is incomplete. I like his awareness in the pocket there. Nowhere to go with the football. So instead of forcing it to the sideline, he's just going to put this one into the harbor and live to fight another down without getting wet. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. He'll look to throw. And he will reach the five-yard line before going out of bounds. Good work by Minshew there to pick up the first. Ah, oh, Brandon, that's a gamer move right there. Facing third down, steps up, calls his own number, and nearly makes the house call. If I'm the coach, I let him take another one right here. Give him a chance to be the first one to hit the end zone after that effort he just gave him. Looking to throw it, Minshew. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. He'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. His running ability has been an extra dimension of their game plan thus far. For once, though, he doesn't create any magic against a front that's prepared for him to try and take off. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. Madison going to take this down just short of the goal line. He got three, but could not get the ball over the chalk. They get three yards closer, but still work to do. It's third and goal. Well, sometimes I get caught in hyperbole, but I think they desperately need to punch this one in. They're running out of time. Yeah, two-score game, second half. You're down here. This is the time to put it in the end zone. Yeah, not going to get much better than this for an opportunity. They'll look to throw on third and goal. Got his tight end. That's complete. That's Bryant. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Raider touchdown. Harrison Bryant from a yard out. And the Raiders take advantage of the short field and finish it off with a quick touchdown. Well, it was third and one. I was expecting run so much for that. They pass it, they score it. That had the feel of the head coach telling the offensive coordinator, you've got four downs here. We're going to go for it on fourth down unless there's a disaster on third. Go ahead and take a shot if you want to. And he gratefully accepted the opportunity and did exactly that. If they didn't get it there, that had the feel that they would come back and try it on fourth down. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And the lead is down to a field goal. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. And Baltimore's offense set for this next possession. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10, just shy of the 30. He'll start with a give to Henry, and he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. Not a lot of running room there, not a place to make a cut and kind of exit out because they had everything bottled up. Looked to me like the linemen were taking on their blocks really well and giving up no creases. Second and seven. Jackson a short throw caught by Andrews to so give him two yards there on the completion and it brings up third and five now and there's a completion to the tight end and look at the size of these players nowadays at that spot six four six five and up a lot of guys used to be basketball players somehow came back to football and that's really good for the game of football you're getting better athleticism great hand-eye coordination guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes from the gun on third down, Jackson able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. 
Seven catches for him now in this last one, a first down. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle, it doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Tyree Wilson getting back there in a hurry and handing him a loss. I'll tell you what, this defense hasn't played its best, but they're still right in this football game. And if they keep making plays just like that, they're going to give their offense a chance. So a five-yard run the other way in the wrong direction, and that leads us to second and 15. Henry will get it. He's been busy today. And trying to push forward, but he is going to be stuffed up in the backfield. One yard is the loss. They back up even further to a third and 15. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. Third and 15 here after the first and second down plays went in the wrong direction. To throw is Jackson. Flush to his right. The scramble good for a nice gain of 10 yards, but still fourth down. Well, it's not going to be a first down, but that's a nice job of picking up yardage on third and long. Sometimes you just have to take what the defense gives you, and in this case, it wasn't enough to pick up the first down. The Ravens send their punter out now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And now a low liner. I think he mishit it. Officially, that'll be marked down as just a 28-yard punt. And the Raider drive will start from deep in their own territory with a first and 10. The offense for Las Vegas about set to begin the drive. Yeah, they've clawed their way back into this game. First half, they were down pretty big. Now, all of a sudden, we've got a ball game. How have they done it? First thing is what you just talked about, clawing their way back in. That means they've decided to go ahead and fight this thing out, which is great. The second part is they looked at where the problems were in the first half, figured out how to shore them up, and have now gone to that part of the playbook that is actually working for them. A few adjustments, a few changes, and really good execution. Now we'll see if that trend can continue. Now a give to Madison. And just not a ton of room to work with. He'll get it to the 15 for a gain of two. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. And 4C and completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. On third down, he'll drop to throw. That is caught. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. So he turned to a trusted, familiar face in that third down situation. It paid off. Yeah, you go to your veteran receiver in that spot, so you can't underestimate him when he's on the field defensively. Make sure you know where he is because he understands how to get open in key situations. Back to throw now on first down. Open man is Myers. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 13-yard gain yet again, just like last play. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. On the handoff, it's Madison. And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. 68 yards rushing for him now to this point. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. From the 48-yard line, here's second and three. 
They're going to look to throw. There's a short throw taken in by Bryant. So the completion gets him just a yard. And now that sets up third and two. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. They'll go play action here with Minshew. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. A big one there on third down. They hit for 30 yards. <laughs> well, this game has certainly had no shortage of offense. Both teams have been revved up from the start. And here's yet another big play. Boy, both defense have just got to be dragging out there because they've been run ragged throughout. So the big play gets them all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. He'll drop to throw. And that, oh, nearly picked off. Well, it would have been a great time for their first interception of the game. Instead, it's second down. So it looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But this defense gets two more stops. They can keep them out of that area. Again, Minshew looking to throw. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. That play call wasn't there for them against that coverage. So they're going to spin the dial now in their playbook and come up with one more shot at the marker to try and keep this series going. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Off play action, it's Minshew. I uh, had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. On fourth down, here's Daniel Carlson for the Raider field goal. He hit his first, this one from 38. The kick by Carlson is good, and that's going to tie the ball game at 27 all. So give them three on that drive. You know, normally you'd say, we'll take it. But the way points have been flying around, it feels like a little bit of a letdown. Yeah, you just have to wonder, are field goals going to be enough? Because as you pointed out, the way touchdowns have been scored, does kicking a field goal actually put you at a disadvantage the rest of the way? Boy, hard to ask for a better game thus far. 27 apiece is our score as the kick's away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Ravens offense getting set and ready for this next drive. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 right at the 30. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry, and he'll get this to the 32. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that gain. Now second and eight at the 32-yard line. In motion, Aguilar. Throwing is Jackson. His throw incomplete. Anytime a ball's thrown in the middle of the field and it's popped up in the air, I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Jackson. He's got his target. That's complete. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. He got 29 yards that time. 
We often hear the phrase sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds him for the first down. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 38. Jackson from the shotgun. Throw right side is complete to Andrews, his tight end. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. So the completion results there in nine yards. And they'll have a second and one forthcoming. Off the option, here's Henry. Powering forward. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. That good for 22 and a first down. Not only an explosive play, but an explosive run. I mean, broken tackles along the way to pick up that yardage. The way things kept churning for him, feet were moving, the legs were driving. Looks like someone who spent his offseason working on hill work, running through sand, all the things that you want to build up those leg muscles. No dice this go around. He's hit behind the line and taken down. Hustling through to break that play up, Max Crosby. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. They'll try again on second and goal after going backwards to the 12. A 20th carry now for Derrick Henry. They'll get this down inside the 10 for a pickup of about three. Partner, I know we're in a goal-to-go situation, but my goodness, think about running the ball here, not even a thought, is yeah, it? defensively, they're in a prime spot. And I think the defensive guys are probably expressing themselves to them as well. I wouldn't run it here, guys. You might want to try throwing it. Third and goal, Jackson. There's Flowers. He's got it. Touchdown, Ravens. A nine-yard touchdown there. And the Ravens have taken the lead here in the final seconds of the third quarter. Well executed there offensively. Defense looked a little confused, but he found his receiver, and that one good for six points. And the payoff we just saw there tells us how many times they ran this play in practice over the past few weeks because they executed that flawlessly right here on game day when the situation arose. Tucker now for the extra point. And they will take a seven-point lead now. So that drive in total eight plays, and it's capped off by the Baltimore score. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. The Las Vegas offense ready to start this next drive. And they had a long drive last time, but they had to settle for a field goal, and I'm sure that's how it felt to them, settling. They probably should have gotten in the end zone. Yeah, not out now, joy, right? Because that's what you get when you put the ball in the end zone. But there are benefits to that type of a long drive. Your defense gets a chance to take a break, adjust a little bit, maybe get themselves ready to get back out on the field and play a little bit better. So they'll take the benefit, even though they wanted the six points. And yeah, maybe wore down the other defense. We'll see. Back now in Baltimore. It's Raider football here, but they're on the short side of the scoreboard right now as we begin the fourth. Here's Madison running on first down. And he'll muscle his way up to the 43 for a pickup of right around five. 
If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. From the 43, here's second down and five. Going to run with Madison again. On a determined run there as he's going to take this all the way down near the 40. The pickup goes for 16 and a Raider first down. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Going on the ground with Madison. And this time the yards won't come so easy as they'll in fact tackle him behind the line. Adafe Owe so quick and he gets to him there behind the line. He stayed afloat for a second there after the first wave of contact, but it, he, that was going nowhere. Yeah, what did he tell us in pregame? I just don't want to get my feet stopped initially when I'm trying to make a run. That's exactly what happened there. Unfortunately, as you noted, got away a little bit from the first one, but the wave swarmed him under. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Raiders first down as they convert on third and three with a nice gain of seven yards. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. A quick throw out to Adams on the perimeter. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that's going to bring up second down. Now Minshew. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps to have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. This will be play number nine of the drive here as they need four yards on third down. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Adams. And he is going to have the Raiders first down by about a yard. It's a gain of five on third and four. I don't care how many times we see it. I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that truck. Oh, no. He lost the football. Oh, and one of the linebackers has got it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. I know one thing. The team that had the ball and was driving, they're going to feel horrible. But the team that was on defense, I think we got to give them a little bit of credit, able to hang in there and force a key turnover. In the red zone, though, had a chance to tie it and an opportunity missed. The Ravens offense and Derrick Henry set to take over once more. And as we roll through some of the highlights, we see how crucial he's been to their success in this one. When he's in this type of a groove and his offensive linemen are creating running lanes for him, he can really put on a show, and he's done so here. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And they'll be hoping to work a little clock and try to add on to this slim fourth quarter lead, but whatever happens on this drive, certainly a huge fumble recovery by their defense at this juncture. 
Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. And his throw is going to be incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Aguilar in motion left. Now they'll fake the jet sweep and run up the middle with Henry. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. And this is why the head coach gets paid the big bucks. Look at where they are in this situation, partner. Do you throw the ball here in a long-distance situation? Do you run it again and trust your defense and make sure you take care of the ball and punt it away? What kind of options do you have here? And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. And they will set up shop in enemy territory at the 42-yard line. A critical error there in a tight game of the fourth. All you talk about is taking care of the football, and especially with a lead here in the fourth quarter. Turning it over, now the door is open for the opposition. Just in general, when you're passing in the fourth quarter with a lead, no matter at what point, you got to be super careful. Got to be careful, and sometimes you can be so careful that you end up running yourself into an error. Here's Minshew. Short throw caught by Bowers. Will go down as a gain of six, and it'll be second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. This second and four. Minshew sets to throw. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. One thing you hope to see out of a rookie tight end is a real concentration when the ball's in the air, and I'm not sure that he didn't, but he has to be prepared for people making a play on it when that ball's up for grabs. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Oh, no, he lost the football, and it's picked up by the big man. Get the oxygen tank ready. Now he's loose down the middle of the field, and this is going to be brought back for a Baltimore touchdown. This was a close game. They needed a little breathing room where they got it right there on that return for a touchdown. Yeah, we would say that this could be huge. Forget it. It was huge. Gave him a comfortable lead. Tucker now to add the point after. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. The scoop and score. Always an exciting play in football. And we witnessed it there. Grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. 
the Raiders offense and Gardner Minshew getting set to go to work once more. And it's been a struggle for him all afternoon. This defense has really done a nice job of making him earn everything he gets. And it's prevented him from getting into any kind of rhythm here today. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. The interception was a great starting point, but now they need points pretty quickly, down two scores. From the gun, Minshew to throw. Short throw caught by Bowers. And that's good for a gain of six, and it'll be second down. Fourth quarter, every drive so critical, and you figure may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You got the first one for the second one to even matter. From the 38, Minshew. That's complete into the hands of Myers. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. The start for them near flawless. Defense gets him a three and out. Two quick pass connections on offense. So that's how a team works together. Just what you described. Get them the ball, give them a little momentum, and they're capitalizing off of that. Thanks a lot, guys. Now a play fake here on first down. They'll let this go for the end zone. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. And they're at the point of the ball game now where they've got to take some chances. They've got to put the ball in the air and just see what happens. But this defense knows that all too well. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Out of the gun is Minshew. Over the middle, that's caught by Adams. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Looking to throw it. Minshew. He finds his man complete. That's Myers. And he is going to have the Raiders' first down. They needed four. He doubled that. He wound up getting eight. And in a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. They'll look to throw again. Throw left side complete. That's Adams. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. Ball on the 35. Here comes second and five. It'll be Minshew again. Here's back-to-back -back catches for Devontae Adams. And Devontae's going to have a Raiders first down as he'll be brought down at the 27. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. They go play action here on first down. This goes out wide from Madison. Oh, some strong running. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. 23 yards, the final tally. Good yardage on the completion there. And when they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Here's Madison running left, and he's maybe going to get this back to the four, but that's about all. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. 
But how about the big guy there showing some agility? He just float from his D-tackle position in order to make that play. Line of scrimmage, again the four-yard line, second and goal. They'll look to throw here. And that's going to be caught for a Raider touchdown. Devontae Adams from four yards out. And the Raiders have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. And in the red zone, I guess this is why you have a guy like that on your roster. Without a doubt, if you have him, you use him because he's a guy who's going to win just about every time. I don't care what the coverage is. Carlson now to add the extra point. And that'll cut the lead down now to a touchdown. So that one, a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And Devontae Adams able to finish things with a touchdown reception. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Ravens offense and their running back getting ready to go back to work. And he has put in a full game's work and then some. Just an incredible performance on the ground to this point in the fourth quarter. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. I'm curious to see, Charles, about the play calling on this drive. Last time out, the interception that led to a touchdown. Here we are. I mean, very close. One score game. Yeah, and if I'm a defender, I'm actually chirping to the, on the other side of the ball. Said, hey, we picked off the last one. What you going to do about it now? <laughs> so when you do throw the football, high percentage, but throw it with confidence. Because if there's any hesitancy at all, it could end up in enemy's hands again. Second and nine. Jackson. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by Nate Hobbs. And he's able to get it back to the 33-yard line. Well, they're not making it easy on themselves here down the stretch. Two picks now in the fourth quarter trying to hang on to that lead. Talk about keeping someone in the game. Instead of being able to shut the door, it's still cracked open because they can come back on you now. The only people who are really happy about those picks, any fantasy team that has this defense. So out come the Raiders. The interception sets them up with an opportunity to erase this fourth quarter deficit. Now this series could very well determine our outcome. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Adams. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. From the 25, here's second down and two. They'll go Madison up the middle. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. But we always talk about good down and distance allowing offenses to expand their playbook. Well, second and two, that means your playbook's wide open. You can run just about anything. But a lot of times, the play caller, he just looks down at his sheet, sees the short yardage runs, and goes to one of those. Back to the ground on first down. Here's Madison. And some determined running there as he'll pick his way down to the 12-yard line. A pickup of 10, and it's enough for a Las Vegas first down. 
consecutive plays now where that offensive line has really created a lot of space. And we've seen the confidence rise, haven't we? It borders on arrogance now, and that's that good arrogance, believing you can run the football whenever you get good and ready. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. It'll only be a loss of a couple, but the pressure gets home on first down. This defense, they just continue to feast. Five sacks now as a unit. It's been quite an afternoon getting to the quarterback. And we're seeing it come from a variety of places as well. Sometimes just the guys up front getting to them. Other times you add extra guys rushing the quarterback, twists and stunts. It's been a variety, and they've had no way of blocking them. They'll go play action here with Minshew. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. That'll give him eight that time. And now we've got a third down and three. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They've become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. Gardner Minshew. A six-yard touchdown run. And the Raiders are an extra point away from tying this game here in the fourth. And we are set up for a fantastic finish now. A fourth-quarter touchdown here. We're an extra point away from a tie football game. And I know they're thinking about possibly going for two, but I'd go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to level. Carlson on for the PAT. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. So the drive there took six plays. And it was Gardner Minshew who finished things off himself with a touchdown run. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. And now here come the Ravens. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. A short one there caught by Likely. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to spring the tight end free downfield for the completion. From the 33, here's second down at a yard. They'll try the right side with Henry. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. And Brandon, you know that expression? He just does what he does. <laughs> it sounds trite, doesn't it? But in this case, it's perfectly apt. This is one of the better runners in the NFL. And all he does is just find avenues find ways to pick up key first downs and big runs. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. And he probably should have given that one off as he's going to get hit and taken down behind the line. Well, that play never really got off the launching pad. He had a linebacker in his face before he had a chance to do much of anything. Yeah, I think it's big boys up front, that offensive line. They've got to do a little bit better job of protecting him if they're going to continue to run the option like this. From the gun, Jackson. Throw caught by Flowers.
Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So it's Raven football here as we welcome you back. And they're facing a big third down now in this tie ball game. Jackson now. He's got Henry. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. The Ravens send their punter out now as he's on here to punt it away. Yeah, yikes. Terrible kick headed straight for the sidelines. And this punt goes out of bounds, and it'll be marked inside the 40. The visitors' offense and their quarterback headed out for this next possession. And this defense might be about ready to wave the white flag. Nothing they have tried to throw at him has been that successful. He just processes things so quickly and makes a right read seemingly every time. They'll come up first and ten here. Now Minshew. He has Mayer complete. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there. And now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Here's second down. Minshew. Open man is Myers. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. Now you're right on the edge of field goal range. You've still got time, but get up to the line of scrimmage and get set. Plenty of time and two timeouts still at their disposal. First and ten here. Here's Minshew. A hit as he throws there incomplete. Inside a minute to go. Here's second and ten now. Here's Madison. They're making steady progress, but I see your face. You're worried about that clock. I'm worried about the clock, and at some point, you have to have a splash play in there as well. Work to do here with a crowd at fever pitch. Third and nine. And the throw there going to be incomplete. They certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. Here's A.J. Cole now, as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. And this will be out of bounds, and they spot it at the 15-yard at the line. Not too bad. The Ravens offense back out there. And Charles, obviously not much time left. I'm curious to see if there's enough for them to get into field goal range and try to win this thing. And partner, you and I both know the save calls to kneel and just take it into overtime. But it's also very tough to pass up a chance to win it right now as well. But remember, if you do attempt that, it's got to be a big play downfield and still leave yourself enough time to get your field goal unit out there and kick for the win. They begin with Henry, and that won't help much. Only a yard on first down. Second down, they go again with Henry. And he is going to lose yardage here. Four quarters, not enough. We're all even into overtime.
over time we go. How much fun is this for everyone who's watching the game? How much fun is it for us to see this one get an extra period to get settled? So it's the Ravens who won the toss. They'll get the football first here in overtime as the kick is away. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. The Ravens ready to take over. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 27. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. It's caught by Aguilar. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 down at the 39. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. And you definitely could make the case we might not even be in overtime had he not thrown three interceptions in regulation. But looking better here so far in OT. Yeah, and when you think about what a coach is thinking at that point, because normally you've thrown three picks during the game, you might craft your play calling to be a little more careful. Not in this case. The green light is still on for him. Max Crosby, the one who got in there for the stop. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Henry again on second down. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. 12 yards to pick up there. Good for a Raven first. They go with the ground game. Pick up the first. Now in plus territory. And that changes the whole mentality of a play caller, doesn't it? Once they cross the 50... They feel like they're in the strike zone, all right? You don't have to be in the red zone to take those big shots downfield or go after the end zone. Right now, that might be available to them. And now this first drive in OT continues. And yeah, he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. A nice little screen. They get six on first down. With all the success they've had throwing the football as a pass rusher, you know you've got to come hard when you see him drop back to throw. So I really like this call to counteract that pass rush with a screen. It turns into positive yardage. A lot of times the offense says, just replace the rusher with the ball, and it turns into a good play. They go play action now. Jackson. It's incomplete. Took a shot. Couldn't connect. Well, that one was all about the defender making life difficult for the receiver. Very tough for a guy to hold on to the football through all that contact. He ends up forcing the incompletion. It's third and four. Big play here. Try to keep this opening drive of overtime alive. Now it's Jackson. That is caught. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 18. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. What a drive this has been. Just chewing up the yardage. And here's one of their best plays yet as they finally get down into the red zone and look to finish this off with six. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Now Jackson taps this forward, jet sweep. Oh, and that is well read defensively. A great job of setting the edge, and that little touch pass is going to turn into a loss. He was unable to shake free there, and they'll cover him for a loss of a yard. This defense not fooled one bit on that touch pass. And this has become one of those kind of in vogue plays, you know, kind of like the shuffle pass was a few years ago. 
This one never got off the ground, but you understand why a lot of teams are running it. These wide receivers, a lot of them, they run like running bats with the ball in their hands. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. No gain that time, but it leaves him with third and 11 coming up. Ninth play of the drive coming up, and certainly not an easy one on third and long. Here's Jackson to throw. He'll get this to Flowers, left side. And he's into the end zone for the touchdown and the game winner in OT. I know Paul Revere talked about by land or by sea, right? You know, one by land, two by sea. He didn't mention air because right now we're seeing a big-time performance, aren't we? That's two touchdowns so far in this game. Where would you pull that one from? And, you know, every now and then I actually listened in history class. <laughs> and you're, you're just a scholar all the way around. You're reading all the time. I like that you fit that into the broadcast. <laughs> you know, I just grab a nugget when I can. Now Tucker to add the PAT. And they will take a seven-point lead now. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And it's capped off with a Ravens touchdown. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. The Raider offense now making their way toward the huddle. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out. They had to punt it away, this time hoping to finish this thing off of the end zone. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Now a first throw here in overtime. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Well, this has certainly turned into a showcase game for what he can do on the ground because they're just continuing to give him chances to run it, and he's earning every additional carry by putting up positive yardage on each run. Out of the gun is Minshew. Over the middle, that's caught by Adams. And Devontae's going to have a Raiders first down as he'll get this up past the 45. That'll go as a pickup of eight. So he hooked up with a veteran there, and in overtime, that's not a bad idea. Go with the age and the experience. Yeah, because sometimes the young guys, they give you the fresh legs and give you all that bounce. But in this type of a situation, sometimes those legs slow down a little bit as the enormity of the moment overwhelms them. The veteran guys, they tend to come through. Give him a first down, 15 yards that time for the Raiders. Charles, he's now over 400 yards passing in this one. It feels like he has a zillion completions. Just a very memorable effort from a guy that we thought could be in line for a big game, and he has exceeded our expectations. That he has, and I'm not really surprised at all because when you look at this offensive unit, they are loaded across the board. And, of course, the guy throwing them, He's a big-time player himself. They brought it from start to finish and really helped get the better of the opposing secondary. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. It's another first down as they look his way again, this time 19 yards. He's padding his already great numbers here in overtime. More importantly, though, moving his guys downfield. And I think that's exactly what's going through his head right now. Moving them downfield, putting them in a position to win the game. The stats, that's for the fantasy guys. <laughs> I know they're enjoying that. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. And in this day and age, I would love to play quarterback in the NFL. Wide open offenses, acrobatic receivers. If you're accurate, you're going to have days like this.
Carlson now to add the extra point. And he's got it up and through. So that drive spanned five plays. And it was all capped off by Jacoby Myers on the touchdown reception. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. And the Ravens taking the field. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And, partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Play action. It's Jackson. No hesitation. Goes right back to Likely. So he'll be stopped here for no gain. And third and eight now. But he caught it right at the line of scrimmage. And before he could even think about advancing it forward, he got hit. Great tackling because that's what you're taught. Don't give up yards after the catch. And most offenses make a living off of yards after catch. Those hidden yards that may not go into the score sheet, but they count big for moving the ball and stretching the field. Really nice open field tackle. There he goes again. And finally taken down at the 35-yard line. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Oh, Lamar Jackson just so electric, Charles, when he gets into open <laughs> space. And we saw exhibit A right there. You know something? I'm standing up here in the booth next to you watching the play. He buckled my ankles on that one as well. <laughs> it doesn't matter whether you're actually on the field trying to chase him or you're just watching him play. This guy is sheer excitement. A first down carry for Henry. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. He's had some big runs in this game. Not there, though. But I don't think they're going to be deterred by that play right there. He's had some nice runs in the game. And how many times have we seen a good running back get stopped, yet turn it into something big on a later carry? I'd stay with him. And he'll be taken down at the 33, a pickup of about four. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, a guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. The 25-yard line is what they need here. This is third down. They'll run it again with Henry. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to the 30. Give him three yards there as that'll take us to fourth down. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. So it's up now to one of the most accurate kickers in NFL history, Justin Tucker. Now the Raiders are going to use another timeout here. They'll be left with just one remaining here at OT. And now it all rests on the right foot of their kicker. This to win it in overtime. And he got it. The kick is... 
is good in overtime. He's able to split the uprights. And joy will reign in the inner harbor as the Ravens have won it. Charles, normally when you see a group score this many points, it's a complete blowout. But instead, they needed every single one of those in this close, high-scoring affair. And Brandon, I'm still on the edge of my seat after that one because when you have that much scoring and it still comes down to one possession game at the end, that's not something we see very often. In this case, these offenses, they brought it. The defenses, they're going to need some work going forward. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. The Ravens are victorious here as we say so long from Baltimore.